Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my Stellaris Let's Play. Uh, last episode we got our new colony station, we accomplished the first level of our archaeologi archaeological site, and we discovered some living metal. Uh, we're looking to expand out and eventually eat these primitives here, because there are two of them. So, that's pretty sweet, uh, and let's get into the episode. So, you can't build yet because he's still building. Oh, we got a dig site breakthrough. Uh, sapient species. Struck by... Alright, so they just died. Uh, the event wasn't violent or destructive. Whatever hit them came as a complete surprise, or they just chose not to resist it. Huh, interesting. Alright, you need to build that because they were already... Or, I say they, the birds were over here somewhere. Just stalking out the area so you need to get this built up so we can just invade and eat these guys speaking of which armies recruit get a couple maybe three three is probably a good amount for an assault army to take over some bronze age civilizations so that's gonna be okay okay planet no planet all right Population almost done. We'll get another uh, worker available to us. So some more resources. Population not even close over here, but you know it's on its way. And we did get that extra housing that we needed, so that's okay too. Pretty happy with that. Uh, Empire sprawl perfectly fine. There, demographics advisor. Pop growth speed. Oh, okay. So here's where we can see our pop growth speed boost. We, yeah, 78%. So if we lose 30% um, of our base, we're gaining 78% of our base. So we're, we're still making more pops than we would normally uh, just at the start of the base game. So that's okay with me. I'm perfectly fine with that. Construction is complete. Yep. You cannot have it. This is our territory. Because we gotta eat these guys. We need food really bad. Uh, build some mining stations. We're not gonna waste time with uh, research station or um, observation posts because they're gonna be gone pretty soon anyway. Uh, we're gonna ship them off to whatever planet we can afford to put them on and then we're just gonna eat them. Because I don't wanna deal with the. Uh, drain of having these planets because I think they're both tomb world yeah they're both tomb worlds I don't want tomb worlds because my guys can't have it that I'm pretty sure it's like even at the best case scenario uh, we don't have any yeah we don't have any boost to habitability so it's pr it's straight up zero percent I believe if I'm not mistaken oh food is about to crash so we should definitely buy some of that all right good we have prevented our hive from starving uh our transport fleet is building kind of slow to be honest uh i really i think i'm just over eager to eat these guys because i don't think it's actually taking that long man this is a really messed up system you got a wormhole and two tomb worlds could you imagine looking up in the sky and seeing a wormhole and that's just part of your solar system That'd be, uh, I mean, I guess if you were used to it, it'd be normal, but it doesn't seem normal to me. Like, that, that'd be freaky if, you know, you saw a wormhole in your solar system. Uh, society's really, uh, yeah, that usually happens for hive minds. Actually, I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, 18, we're still building pretty fast. The next structure, now we have one job left. So maybe I build. Actually, I don't really have the. I don't have the resources anyway right now. Yeah, we'll just forget about that for now. Oh uh, yeah, research that because it's only gonna take sixty days. Uh, let's see here. You're almost done building. We'll be able to take over those primitives, and then we can eat them. 
think we can leave them on their home planet, but if we don't get them off of it, it will remain a colony. I'm not sure if that's still an issue in 2.4, but I'd rather not have to deal with it. So we're going to move them all off world. It costs us like next to nothing because we're a hive mind. And uh, yeah, it'll be all good. Uh, how long until those colonies finish? Three, three years and two months. I thought I took something that reduced. Maybe I didn't get the tech for that actually. I don't think I did. Kind of unfortunate because that's gonna, that's a long time for a colony to be setting up. Uh, yep. So there was. Combine. I think they're going to be... Oh, I didn't expect that. Fanatic Militarist, Spiritualist, Criminal Syndicates. Oh, okay. So they're a... Uh... Oh, no. They just have the title Ruthless Capitalist. They aren't actually a... Oh, no, they are. They are a Criminal Syndicate. They are a Corporate Authority. Uh, so they're less likely to declare war on us, I think. I think that I think that's the thing. Uh, sweet, okay. So they're right there, and what do they have? What mega structure do they have? Interstellar assembly. I want that. I definitely want that. Uh, yeah, they closed their borders. Not surprised. Um, I'm pretty sure we have to check this actually. Yeah, declare war and sell it. Yeah, we're good. Oh, wait. They're overwhelming? Oh, just because of their fleet power. They can't do anything to us, though. Uh, yeah. So you guys are going to come down here. I think I want you to invade this one first. Eight pops versus... Eight pops, yes. Yeah, so just land your armies here. Yes, do it. They can't do anything. They're just Bronze Age. Like, our guys shouldn't even get scratched from that. Uh, yeah. I think now's the time to build up some more ships. We can afford it. And we do have unfriendly guys on our, on our side, obviously. Uh, ship design. I'm okay with that. Uh, okay, top blockers are removed. I'm going to boost that up to 10 or 9 and then just reinforce that. They'll build up. Yep, all good. Now, I do want to upgrade this space station because this is the first enemy that we've encountered. Nope, I don't want to do that. Oh, we need to wait till we have. 200 alloys so I'll just I'll just hold off they aren't going to attack us immediately because I think they're smart enough to know that they can't win yet I think they changed that as well they changed a lot of things in the, in the 2.4 update so I'm not really particularly familiar with it but I know enough to know that I think they fixed that part of it alright no one needs jobs yet except for you we need food, so we're going to build some food. Uh, you need to be doing something. You should probably... Uh, just increase our cohesion. Move over there. Doesn't even need to be building something. As long as they're moving to somewhere where they can eventually do something, I'm okay with it. Uh, how close are we to... Not relics. Eight months. So we will complete our expansion tree, and I think we're going to go for, I think Nihilistic Acquisition is pretty good as a hive mine, but uh, Technological Ascendancy is probably stronger overall, so we'll probably go for that. Uh. Oh, Hostile... Someone hostile. Probably just space squids or something. Uh, research in biodiversity or more food from farmers. Well, more food from farmers in this case for sure. Uh, 
especially given that we're about to take over these guys. If we can get that, and they're still going to be processing for a while, so 48 months, we'll probably be on the last few um, primitives that we're eating, so... That's a really nice system. Uh, even if it's just for the volatile motes, actually. Move up there, actually. Yeah, forget my other order. Or no, you move up there. Yeah, 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 that's what we'll do. You move up there. You move up here. And that's all good. I think I'll still build up this one, though, because it could come down through this way. So I will build up this station. But... Uh, I do want to get those volatile modes if I can. Yeah, still so much time on that colony. Uh, where's our mill? All right, they're incoming, so we got ten days ish. Now, if I could, what fleet modes do I got? Bombard, indiscriminate, selective. All right, so we don't just have uh, the ability to pick them up and just eat them like we used to. I'm pretty sure that used to be a thing they actually had. Uh, survey here, and then you can survey here, here, just avoid those whatever's in that system. And I think we're good. It's looking pretty good. Pretty good, I'd say. You're moving, you're moving, you're moving. Yeah. Nothing there, huh? Huh. Interesting. I would have thought there would have been something there at least, but I guess not. Alright. Our fleet is almost in bounds. And our Corvettes are halfway done, pretty much. That should have leveled us off. Oh, they're still overwhelming. Either they built up to their capacity for ships, or they found something that I don't want to deal with. And if it's... If they found uh, the submerged Titan ship, or a cruiser, uh, that's it's not looking too good. Desert World... Oh, why did you not survey that? Oh, you're trying to survey that first. That actually might be beneficial. If you just come up here, I'll take the hit on influence. Oh, uh, I think they're going to get it before me. Which is really annoying. What are you doing? Unknown orders. I hope it passes through. It doesn't look like it's going to, though. I think it's going to run right into it. Oh man, that sucks. A 23 desert world. That's exactly what we need. Because it'd be 50% habitability. Oh, is it skipping it? It's skipping it. It's going over. I don't know where it's going, but it's going somewhere. And I'm fine with that. I am perfectly fine with that. Because that gives us more time. Oh, we should probably check the invasion. Yeah, and like I said, our guys are getting, like, little scratches. Maybe one guy dies because he trips over himself, but, like, these guys have no chance. No chance whatsoever. We do have another tradition also, so I should get that as soon as possible. Uh, and, yeah, we're, we're going to go in technological ascendancy just because that 10% research rate uh, and rare technologies are more likely to pop up, so that's it's, it's just too good to pass up. I always go technological ascendancy, regardless of how I'm playing through. Invasion, yeah, uh, food. Yeah, just get, get 100. We're about to solve our food problems, though, so that might have been unnecessary, but, you know, I'm cool with that. Uh, I'm, I do want to see the invasion as soon as it's over, though, so I will leave that up. Alright, our empire grows successfully invaded but I don't want you guys on this planet anymore um, our transport fleet can actually just automatically come over here land your armies 
uh, but I don't want these guys here anymore, so I'm going to space them out across both my worlds. We have, what, eight here? So, four will go to Death Back. Uh, 100 each, jeez. I thought there was supposed to be a reduction on that. Alright, one, two, three, four. And then, Toric, one, two. Need to get a little bit more energy. So we'll sell some minerals. And just sell 500. I don't care. Resettle you to Toric with the other two. Agree. Sweet. Now if we play, it's gone. We shouldn't have a housing issue because undesirable shouldn't require housing. Yeah, they don't. They give us food. We're getting 21 food here and 22 food here. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. That's all good with me. More food. We are going to move those other guys too, and we're really low on energy, so we gotta try to pick it up. Boom, 28 food right there. That's how you grow as a hive mind. You eat everybody. No chance. So they're going to probably be angry at us because we're eating people, but that's a problem for next episode because this is the end of today's episode. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it's going to get really interesting really quick here with these guys. I do want to eat them, obviously, uh, and they're, for some reason, not taking this desert planet, which we're going to take next episode as well. Uh, so like I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to keep seeing this series, and I'll see you guys next time.